side of it. But before that, I just want to let you know a little bit of the concept behind this 1980 Olympic team. If you look over your shoulders, for all of you guys that are swimming, swimmers from the 80s, if you look over your shoulders, what you've created 32 years ago is a pretty great history of pretty good swimming. And what we're getting to now is the next generation of kids are going to make the Olympic team in a couple of years, in a couple of months. The reason I felt strongly about bringing you over here is a couple of fold. First of all, Air Canada. When we brought them the concept that we wanted to honor you guys for the great things you've done, they got so excited about doing this and they decided to join up on the team. But even more, from my heart, from my heart, you guys are so part of Canadian swimming's history. And I'm not sure that anybody's ever said thanks to you for what you've done. We can't change the past, but we can really get excited about tomorrow. And I think having you here, coaches, we, we may have Derek here. Hey Derek, even Derek is still with us. <laughs> but, but what we have, what I strongly believe we have, is a great family. I read a quote not long ago and the quote said, You've got to be a family before you're a team. And I feel by bringing you guys back in our family, bring you back in our Olympic family, it gets kind of a closure for us. And if there's anything we've done in the last few years, and a lot of work that was done since about 2000, is that the family starts with everyone, including you guys. So I'm really humbled actually to have you here. Some of you guys, if you were called on only the last minute, it took us a while to find you. But now you're here, and, um, and I'm really proud to have you here. The board of directors of Swimming Canada, and there's some all over. We're really excited to have you here. I know last night some of you guys were practicing your, your drinking technique from 1980, and that's okay too. But really, um, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so proud to have you part of our team part of the history you made many years ago and the history that you're going to pass on to the next generation and the kids that we have here today. Uh, I've asked Dan to speak for you guys a bit. The reason I'm actually back in Canada is because of Dan Thompson. When Dan... I'm going to say it quickly. Dan called me. I was in Marichador, which is northern Brisbane, with my family. The kids were surfing. It was 35 degrees. It was February. And Dan said, come back to Canada. And I said, what's the weather like? He says, it's only minus 28. But we still need you to come over. So I'm really excited to be back here in Canada. And a lot to do with Dan and the class man that he is. So Dan, if you want to come and say a couple words. Thanks, Pierre. Well, it's great to see everyone. We all look great, don't you think? Absolutely. And I'd, I'd like to thank Swimming Canada, and particularly Pierre, because this is the first sport that has effectively recognized the 1980 Olympic team. And I think that's important. And I know that uh, we'd like this to be a trend. We'd like all the other Canadian sports to do the same. So, you know, I, I think we're all humbled to be to be honored to be invited back into the family. And it's a very special moment for all of us, I know. So thank you, Pierre. And you should know that, you know, at some point we couldn't find about 10 of you. And he said, well, that's crazy. We can find them. There's no problem. And he went himself mainly and started the, the, the network. And social media is a, a great friend of our all of us and, and made it happen. So Pierre, thank you very much for this. That, that great effort. Uh, also, want to thank Air Canada. I mean, they made this possible. I mean, at, you know, at some point, you can only get so many together. But if you've got our national airlines saying no, this is important, and we want to fly these great Canadians back to celebrate, uh, that's that's great too. Sheila Robertson is here now. You're all going to be getting a copy of her book. It's a great read. I'd like to thank Sheila. Where's Sheila? She around? There she is. Thanks, Sheila. Great book. It's a great read. It, 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 all the memories will flow back to you, and I think you'll be impressed. And I'd like to thank Bruce, who made sure that Sheila did this book. And uh, a 
little uh, pressure always always helps. So thank you, Bruce. Because I think what uh, Sheila's created is really a legacy of understanding. We never want this to happen again. And I think we've learned a lot. And the book will tell future generations just how important sport is as a peace movement. I think you'll all agree with that. So tonight's really just about celebrating, getting reacquainted with old friends, and celebrating the great Canadian family that we have. I mean, I have the pleasure of getting back involved in the sport and just seeing, I mean, it's amazing just the people are so wonderful and the culture is so strong, the values are so strong, and you all help create that. So I think we should celebrate that tonight.